Welcome back! Sa sasalubungin ng FU Tamaraos ang bagong taon na may bagong coach na kapareho lang apelido ng kanilang dating coach. Pinasa ng FPU ang baton ng head coaching duty sa kanilang men's basketball program sa TBA great na si Olsen Rosella. Matapos umalis ang kanyang kapatid na si Nash Rosella para mag-coach naman sa PBA. At mga kasama natin ngayon si Coach Olsen para pag-usapan ng kanyang pagbabalik. UAAT. Coach Olsen, welcome back to the score. Yes, Huli thank you. tayo, naka-blue ka. <laughs> <laughs> final four. <laughs> yep. And yet now, uh, getting used to seeing you in the the colors of FU. Congrats, first of all. Kama sa pagkaran naman nagsising kina balat with all the attention and talk about um, it. Well, actually, hindi pa because of the holiday season. Okay. Taka hindi pa kaya nagen sao. Oh, hindi pa nang oh. practice. Na bakasyon pa yung mga mm -hmm. bata. Eh, so. so when you see them in January, that's when you kick things. Really start, yes. Start everything. Yes. Okay. Well, pag-usapan natin yung proseso nga ito. Paano, uh, paano ka napunta dito? And, you know, I mean, did you all, I know you've started coaching already. And did you always see that, you know, after as, after your playing years, na you eventually coach? Kasi while you're playing, your brother was really coaching. Di ba? Yes, yes. Just MBA days pa lang. So, kita mo na ba na yun din yung maging career path mo? Yes. Towards the end of my playing career mm -hmm. nakita ko na yung ano eh, yung yung possibility na yon mm -hmm. and uh, siguro mga mga last year ko exacto um, i was asked to coach the youth youth right. team right. the philippine uh, youth team mm -hmm. so exacto naman when i retired mm -hmm. uh, imme immediately after na coach na agad ako mm -hmm. ng, ng youth team mm -hmm. there you go well uh, you know when i think about it very few players turned coaches have had the experience like you've had, the championships you've had, the national team stints you've had, and the great coaches you've had. I mean, it's just, I'm trying to put that in perspective right now. I'm like, oh my God, oh nga pala, no? Grabe. I mean, sa, sa dami na dinaanan mo, natutunan mo sa experiences mo, anong, you know, how, how do you think does that help prepare you to become a head coach now? Well, malaking tulong yan. Hmm. Being under a lot of uh, great coaches, um, I was under coach Chot Reyes. Mm -hmm. Ateneo, right. uh, Coach Ron Jacobs, yep, Coach, Ron. Um, Coach Jong Yu Chico, mm -hmm. and then for playing for Coach Tim for the national team. Right. So, and dami ko nang I oh. mean, right now I think I have so many ideas mm -hmm. in my mind. Yep. Just a matter of putting them all, all together. together. But yep. the thing is, TJ, iba yung perspective mo as a player yeah. and iba yung as a coach. So correct, correct. the years that I have spent with uh, under coach Tim as mm -hmm. an assistant yeah. has really helped me a lot. Um, we know that it's not that easy to translate a great playing career to a great coaching career and that somehow that might play into the pressures that you have. Mm -hmm. But but how does it help that your brother was there? Uh, you know, laying the groundwork, putting up the foundation of what FEU's program is now and you're coming into that na yun na yung puhunan nila at yung momentum ikaw nga ng, ng programang yan. Yeah, well, I'm basically here to continue the program, to continue mm -hmm. what, what Coach Nash has started with FEU. Mm -hmm. And it helps that, you know, magkapatid kami. Uh, but, well, I basically, he basically runs a dribble drive system which mm -hmm. I am very familiar with. Mm -hmm. So, itutuloy ko lang yung ganong klaseng uh, programa. Mm -hmm. But more than that, it's about, you know, mentorship of, yep. the, of the young kids. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. And I think that's where we share a lot of things in common uh, about uh, being mentors to mm -hmm. these uh, yeah. young kids and helping them achieve their dreams. Yun din yung isang napupuna ko talaga kay Coach Nash, uh, your brother, when we've had chats before na beyond the coaching, beyond trying to win games and championships, he's always stressed that as well, na I want to mentor these kids. So, is this a family thing? Na, you know, when basketball was a big thing in your family, obviously, bahagi na rin yun how, how sports has molded you guys into great men? Um, yes. Sports really played the major factor in that. Uh, and I think that's one of the reasons why I got into coaching mm -hmm. because I learned a lot of values through sports that you don't normally learn yep. in school. So, yun ang kailang, yun ang bala ko ipakita sa mm -hmm. mga bata. And I think I learned, I learned a lot from, from, from basketball that, you know, I want to give back to the sport that's been very good to me. So, mm -hmm. coaching ng uh, patutunguan. You've been on the sidelines watching your brother, watching the UAP, supporting Ateneo and alumni, and then supporting your brother for many years. Did you ever picture yourself, you know, uh, jumping into the arena of the UAP as a coach? Um, as a coach, yes. Oh, mm -hmm. I've always wanted to coach a college team. Okay. Um, like I said, I was a coach of the national youth yep. team before, and I find fulfillment in With coaching. The young players. Yes, mm -hmm. the young okay. players. Mm -hmm. eh. So um, now that 
I'll be coaching FEU. It's it's a dream come true for me to be able to coach a big program like uh, FEU. What are the what's the pressure like? I mean, did Nash ever open up to you about the pressures of coaching a big program, the um, demands and expectations <laughs> to win championships? Well, <laughs> 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 kita mo na, kita mo na. And not just with the FEU. I uh, mean, uh, other big schools. Yeah, you see of course. Them, Ateneo, yeah. La Salle, oh. NU, de ba? Mm. Uh, lahat yun eh. And uh, well. Iba, like I said, iba yung paglalaro. Mm. I, when I was playing for the UAP, iba yung coaching mm. where you nakasalalay sa yung mga yep. um, napakaraming tao. Yeah. Diba? But uh, I welcome it. Mm -hmm. uh, kasama yun sa trabaho mm -hmm. and I'm really excited for next season. All right. Now looking at the, the material you have, ang um, pagkaalam ko, when I spoke to Mark the other week, mm -hmm. ang mawawala lang si Raymar and Simon Bird. Jose no, and Arong, yes. That's just the two. And you've got some pretty good material coming in and like served in the residency. Uh, yes. Guys named Kani, Tolentino, I mean, Parker. Ka pa. So, lineup wise, how excited are you for, for uh, you know, a really you know, experienced lineup that is maturing from a good run this year, uh, defending champion year, pero marami na wala, pero they went through a lot this year? Um, well, I really. I really haven't seen this team up close. Okay. Um, I know outsider right. looking in, yeah. watching their games. Um, pati sa kanilang recruits, mm -hmm. I haven't seen them in practice. But I'm familiar with uh, Hubert Kani and mm -hmm. Arvin Tolentino because they played for me b before. Right. Okay. And uh, but when you talk about the lineup, um, I'm I'm excited for this team mm -hmm. uh, next year. I see. Um, bigger roles for mm -hmm. for Tuffin, mm -hmm. for Home Vist. Um, I see them really maturing uh, next year. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I was impressed with uh, Comboy yeah. and Inigo. Yep. They really mm -hmm. played uh, really well last Parang season. They grew up so much in this Ambilis. past season. Oh, Ambilis. 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 Nila, oh. Oh, napaka bata pa, but yeah. throughout the course of the season, ang ganda nung linaro nila. Mm -hmm. So, um, yun, I was impressed with those two. But of course, you st we still have... Uh, Prince Orizu, mm -hmm. who will be uh, the anchor of, of uh, the defense next year. An interesting dynamic as well, this whole process of you coming in. You're also going to inherit Coach Nash's coaching staff na has been a huge part of the program, yes. of course. Coach Nash, he always says, I can't do this alone. Mm -hmm. That staff of, of the guys that have been there, sila Coach Josh and uh, the rest of the team that have been there, malaking tulong. Para sa'yo, gano'n mo na sila kakilala? How well did they know you as well? How will that kumaga fit in like, like you know, that quick? I think that that played an important uh, part, you know, in in getting me. Mm -hmm. um, the idea was to keep that core, yung yung coaching staff. That was a priority for the school. Yes. Okay, for the uh, management. Okay. And then, um, <coughs> kung magaka ako lang yung outsider, yeah. ako lang yung yung bago sa team. Right, right. Uh, when you talk about um, relationships with with assistant coaches. Mm -hmm. um, Si Johnny, kaibigan ko matagal na. Yep. I mean, uh, we were rivals since high school yep. and we, we became uh, good friends. Mm -hmm. Nakatrabaho ko na rin siya. Coach Eric Gonzalez, yep. nakatrabaho ko na rin uh, with the youth team. Mm -hmm. um, si Josh ang hindi pa. Okay. And, uh, Parang naging coach mo yung daddy niya. So you know him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Uh, nung, nung, nung high school kami coach oh. yung daddy niya, ang lit, lit pa ni, ni Josh, Josh nun. No. <laughs> and then of course you have uh, Coach Gilbert. Yep. Lau and Jonathan mm -hmm. Guzman and Adun. Para kompleto no ako, the way Ryan. I see it. I've always seen this staff as a very complete staff. Mm -hmm. like everything you need. Well, ako, good, from the experience oh, yeah. to the big men to the guards. And you know, chemistry mm -hmm. in a basketball team is very important, yeah. not just sa mga players but also in the coaching Agree. staff. Oh, and correct, I think correct. yun yung meron sila. Meron na sila. Yes. So magandang puhunan yun talaga. Mm -hmm. Kaya nga sabi mo, it was critical for them to maintain them. Yes. So that all the more made it difficult to find someone that fit. So there are a few like you <laughs> who would be that fit na okay, kilala na niya, kilala sila, pasok na yun. Oh, I mean, nakatulong talaga yeah. na. Mm -hmm. um, admittedly, I'm a mm -hmm. brother of Nash because we share the same uh, values. Mm -hmm. And then, um, when it comes to uh, the X's and O's, yep. uh, madali na yan because, mm -hmm. like I said, because of uh, the the system that we run, mm -hmm. that I run before, and the system that they have now. Yun ang tanong na ibang mga tao. For sure, you know, you've got you know the same values, pero yung personality kaya to paano magiba yan ng konte. <laughs> um, I think it was Mark who said it. Na Nash is more calm. <laughs> si Olsen medyo kaya ng rara yung ane <laughs> nickname. Medyo mas fiery. San kaya kayo magiba in terms of coaching styles? Uh, well. Ako, mas, mas pasensyoso si Nash sa akin. Eh. Okay. So, but again, I'm learning. Yes, uh, yes, yes. That's one of the things na natutunan ko when I started coaching, mm -hmm. to be a little more patient. Okay. Uh, so, doon, medyo nakakaiba kami ni, 
ni uh, Nash. Okay. Uh, but like I said, I'm still I'm here to continue the program. Mm -hmm. So in other aspects, uh, pareho lang kami. Mm -hmm. uh, Pag eh wag mag wag matakot yung mga players sa akin <laughs> dahil uh, mag magkakilala lang kami sa practice correct, next correct. year. Oh. Well, you're in, you're entering an, an arena that you know if you look at it, napaka-interesting yung mga kasabayan mo. May coach Tom Baldwin, may coach Alvin Ayo, may coach Jamaica na ngayon sa NU, uh, Derek France, such experienced coaches, winning coaches from different leagues and as well. Just looking at that, your competition as coaches, and, uh, how do you see that in, uh, as a challenge or pressure for you? I mean, I'm, I'm really excited yeah. because uh, I know I'm go going to learn a lot of things from these uh, <laughs> champion coaches. Yep, eh. yep. Uh, just playing against them. Um, I, I, I know I'll grow as a coach mm -hmm. and as a person. Uh, every time I play these these coaches, uh, at you know, get na pansin ko eh. mm -hmm. um, yung lineup ng coaches. Uh, Grabe, no? And this is going it, yeah. to be an exciting season for for not just for uh, the teams involved, but mm -hmm. for the UAP fans. Yeah. Well, uh, before I let you go, may goal na bang eh for you next year? Is it is it clear that with the material you have, the momentum this program has gained, championship is the goal? Um, of course, uh, in every program you you hope to win a championship, mm -hmm. but. Uh, FU has always been competitive every yeah. e every year, mm -hmm. ever since. Uh, kahit nung time ko, uh, yeah, grabe yeah. yung. It was Correct. because of recruitment. Yes, yes. And uh, next year will be no different. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm here to continue the program of Coach Nash and hopefully win a championship for FEU and by uh, doing that. All right. Well, we wish you all the best and it will be exciting to see you on the sidelines of uh, FEU come next season. Thank Coach, you, DJ. Maraming salamat. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Keep watching The Score for the latest sports updates and don't forget to subscribe to the ABS-CBN Sports in Action YouTube channel.